Google's Surface competitor, the 10.2-inch Pixel C Android tablet is going on sale today, starting at $499 for the 32GB version and an extra $149 for the keyboard. I spent the last couple of days with it as my main machine to figure out if it's any good. Google's Pixel brand used to only stand for high-end Chromebooks, but in September, Google surprised us all with the Pixel C, a high-end Android tablet with an optional Bluetooth keyboard. If you think that sounds a little bit like Microsoft's Surface tablet or maybe even Apple's iPad Pro, you're not alone. It's pretty much impossible not to compare them. First impressions. The Pixel C with its aluminum shell is a high-end machine. With the keyboard attached, it looks as if somebody shrunk a Pixel laptop down to tablet size, down to the light strip on top of the tablet and the plastic nubs under the bottom of the keyboard that look exactly like the ones on the Pixel. The build is really solid. That does mean that the keyboard and tablet combo has a bit of heft to it though. At half a kilo, it's not heavy by any means, but you won't forget that you're carrying it with you. The keyboard doesn't come standard with the tablet, so let's look at the tablet first. The first thing you notice when you start up the C is its screen. It's a 10 inch, 2560 by 1800 resolution screen that's simply gorgeous. It's also one of the brightest screens I've seen on a tablet. It's actually so bright, it'll probably hurt your eyes when you look at it with the brightness cranked up all the way. Google says it still managed to keep the energy consumption really low. The screen has a bit of an unusual aspect ratio. One to the square root of two. That's the same as the European A4 paper size. Especially in landscape mode, that feels like a really good ratio for browsing the web and working on documents. As for performance, nobody's going to call the Pixel C slow with a NVIDIA Tegra K1 processor and three gigabytes of RAM. Everything works just as smoothly as you would expect it to. Just like all of Google's newest devices, the C uses a USB type C port for charging. Google says the battery should last at least 10 hours. And while we haven't done any formal tests yet, that number does sound about right. The only major difference I've noticed is that the home and back button are on the bottom left side with the task switcher on the right. To see how Google likes to go a little bit overboard with the Pixel, you just have to look at the four microphones it built into the tablet. All of that just to make sure that the tablet can hear your OK Google commands correctly. What about the keyboard? It's small, but after a few days of using it, it's grown on me. The keys are a bit shallower than I'd like, but it's still quite usable. Google kept the most often used keys at a regular size. That means your enter and tap keys are really small now. But otherwise, you probably won't notice all that much of a difference. What's really cool is, is how the keyboard and tablet attach to each other. There's no hinge on the tablet. Everything is held together with magnets and a stiff hinge on the keyboard. And those magnets are strong. And they're both in the keyboard and the tablet. Indeed, you could easily stick the C on a blackboard and it would just stay there. The tablet and keyboard connect over Bluetooth, so there are no connectors. It charges inductively from your tablet when the two are attached. That means you never have to worry about charging the keyboard. I have to admit it's also pretty satisfying to break the combo over your knee to disconnect the two. But the real question is, how much sense does that tablet-keyboard combo actually make? More than I expected, to be honest. I used the C as my main machine for the last few days and was pretty much able to do everything I needed to do for my work. What's missing for me is a split-screen view in Android, and that's a real shame given that the screen would be perfect for that. At one point, this feature actually existed in the Marshmallow betas, but somehow didn't make it into the final release. Is there a market for the C? I think so, but it's a small one.